Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 26, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Uh, yes, we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have fallen basically off a cliff of the market today. So US dollar started to uh, appreciate significantly today and we are down roughly 1%. So this was anticipated. So I think I had it in my video yesterday that we were significantly overstretched here outside of the bullish band and we also were significantly overbought. We are still very high in the RSI, we're not overbought yet, but other technical indicators, they are turning around quite significantly. So this was this was expected to fall. We got way up ahead of ourselves. And at this point, it's just a matter of how far we are going to go. Um, I had no interest in basically selling this because we have been in an uptrend for a very long time and there have been moving averages that have been acting as a major support for this currency pair. For example, the 50 moving average, the 40 exponential moving average, and the, and the 20 exponential moving average all have offered a major support for this currency pair. So we may go towards the 20 exponential right here at 13.93, the 40 exponential at 1381, and then the 50 moving average right here at 13.74. If that breaks, then we'll go all the way down to the 100. And at this point, I don't really see that we're going to do that. Then we have to break the middle of the bullish band and we'll head all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band. And we have done that for a very, very, very long time. That's all the way down here at the bottom. However, technical indicators are turning around. So momentum is to the downside at this point. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. We have broken the 300 moving average and the previous highs here. And now we are basically, well, we're trading above the 300 moving average. We're getting very overstretched. We also covered this in yesterday's video. There's a, we have been trading outside of the bullish band and have pulled back. The RSI is at the moment overbought. So yes, we could expect a pullback from here. But the question is whether or not the 300 moving average will uh, act as support. If you get another green candlestick right here and it pull ba pulls back and bounces off the 300 moving average, then that could be an indication that we are going to go higher. It looks like we are making higher lows. So here, 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 here. It looks like we are starting to trend in, in the opposite direction that we have been trading it in for basically since March last year. So this could well be um, a change in uh, this currency uh, pairs direction. It looks like it, but we need to break the 300 moving average and start trading above that in order to confirm that. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point, but we are overbought and overstretched. So a pullback towards the 20, that should be expected at this point. So Euro, US dollar, we did rally and then we fell apart completely. In created this inverted hammer, which is a very bearish shine. We got also way ahead of ourselves. We were way outside the bullish band here, but we are not very high in the RSI. So we did get overstretched, pulled back. So it will be uh, interesting basically what happens um, in tomorrow's session. You can see that the technical indicators are turning around. The MACD CCI is still bullish, but the stochastic is turning around quite aggressively here. So we may go back towards the 100 moving average before going higher. But we have not tested the 50 moving average yet, and we have to uh, know whether or not we are going to bounce off the 50 moving average. So the Aussie dollar, US dollar, and this was also expected because um, we were way outside of the Bollinger Band here, and then we just fell apart. We were all the way up at 80, roughly 80 when we, when we uh, or 90 were in the RSI, and now we're at 64. So 20 exponential is um, expected to offer support or the 50 or the 40 that are just underneath. So we may fall towards the bottom of uh, the middle of the Bollinger Band here, which is just between the 20 and the 50 uh, moving average. We can see that we have been bouncing off the 20 uh, basically most of the time and occasionally we have broken down to the 50 moving average and then rallied from there. So 20 is first um, support 
area, which is roughly at 0 0.78 um, at this current stage. So no interest base is selling this. This is also buying the dips because we are in an uptrend. So let's look into US dollar, Canadian dollar. And as expected, we were very overstretched to the downside. We were significantly oversold. And now we have a massive rally towards the 20 and probably the 50 moving average. We're up 0.82% in, in, uh, in today's session. And uh, yes, that's a major move to the upside. But we were also significantly oversold. Technical indicators are turning around. We are in a downtrend. We did, we basically all the way back to, uh, this is uh, March last year, we have been in this downtrend. So rallies up towards the 50, 40, and the, and the 20 exponential, that are all possible selling opportunities. Occasionally, we do cross the 50 moving average, for example, in this area here, here, and here. Otherwise, the 20, 40, and the 50 have been offering major resistance. So... Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.